Hey now, so what I want to do today is talk about probably the most forged autograph in the history of the Baseball Hall of Famers, and that is Mickey Mantle. I would say either him or Ruth definitely are one, two in terms of forgeries. Probably Garrett a close third. But most of you probably know this, the Mickey Mantle forgeries really started around the late 90s when Mantle passed away. And even though he was so common on the show circuit for many, many years, it's not a rare autograph. There are a ton of good mantles out there. Unfortunately, there are a lot of bad mantles out there. Uh, there's a great book called Operation Bullpen. I highly recommend if you want to understand the reasoning and how the bad mantle started. But long story short, the FBI busted up a number of rings in around 2000, 2001. And this really led to probably the beginning of autograph authentication. There were so many bad mantles out there that PSA created a PSA DNA department to authenticate autographs. And Mantle is really where they got their bread and butter to start with. And the good thing is the authenticators do what to look for. So most, if not nearly all of the Mantle authenticated autographs out there, I say are good. Uh, obviously they're gonna make mistakes. Some are gonna slip through the cracks. So the question now is, okay, there are still a lot of bad mantles out there. They're being passed every day. Unfortunately, you may have one or two in your collection. So what do you look for? And that's what I wanna show you today. There's a couple of forgeries out there that are very common. Uh, and again, if you study it, they all look bad. So let's get to the video and take so a if look. If you watched my videos before, you know how it works. I wanna show you some good mantles, some bad mantles, and then we're gonna surf the internet, well, at least eBay, and see what is out there. Good, bad, what to look for. So the first one I want to show you is a good Mickey Mantle baseball. Now, right offhand, this is certified by Upper Deck, and Mantle was probably Upper Deck's first exclusive client. So if I were going to buy a Mantle today, I would want to see a Upper Deck Mantle. This is almost a perfect ball. So as you can see here, these are looks like half moons, not bananas, which we'll show in a second, but half moons. And it's called the half moon mantle, which is what he's commonly signed towards the end of his life. Now, some people are going to say, guess what? I heard that if there's a, if the end looks like a U, you want to avoid it. And that's true to an extent. I want to tell you what to look for. You want to look for a V right here. If you could see that V, like a nice sharp V, that's what mantle typically did when he's signing his last name. The last thing is with Mantle, when he signed baseballs, when he signed flats, they're different. The baseballs, you want to see the A dip down. You want to see a lot of bounce in that Mantle. The Mickey's pretty much straight, but the Mantle bounced. And so you can see here the A looks like it's A and the N are the two by far lowest letters besides the M, obviously. So again, this is a nice Mantle. Now let's go, let's compare this with some bad Mantles. So the first one here is the classic banana Mantle. Let's pull this up. See if we pull this one bigger or not. So as you can see here, hopefully, it is, it's just bad. I mean, this looks not like a moon. It looks like a banana. Uh, if you look here also, the U is rounded. It's not a sharp point. It's rounded. So again, that's the U you want to look for when you're looking for a fake mantle. Again, hat, you look for the banana, not the moons, and you see it's a you, really a U at the bottom, not at the top necessarily. Also, I mean, this looks pretty straight. Uh, I mean, I've been looking at mantle for a long time. It's bad. Now let's move to flat real quickly here. Let's put, I want to get, I want to show you a good flat before we get to a bad flat. So a good one right here. And again, I took this off the PSA website. Now, what's good about this is the mantle, you can see how it hooks around here, hooks around here. Again, there's that nice V, sharp V. And when he signs flats, usually the E drop down. So in the looking for a baseball, the A should be dropping down. On a flat, the E should be dropping down. So let's look, look at some uh, classic. These are, again, they're all operation ball pens. I know they are uh, here. Look, the A starts down first. So when uh, probably a Marino did this one, he took a baseball version of a mantle, fortunately. And so, again, the A drops down. And, again, it's tough to see here. But the V, the N, like, or I call it the V here, is not real sharp. Uh, let's go to another one right here. We just looked at that one. Excuse me. Let's pull up some more here. Here's another Again, Operation Bullpen Classic right here. Again, you can't see a nice sharp V. Uh, it looks very flat here. The E drops down, but again, it looks like a, almost a flat E here. 
Uh, it just, to me, it screams fake. Hopefully it does to you also. It's not easy. These forgers got really good. Okay, let's take a look at another baseball mantle. Oh, uh, this one's ugly. It looks like someone wrote this on a straight line with a ruler. You see that? It doesn't bounce at all. The M comes straight down. It doesn't hook down like a moon. Uh, all bad. So let's jump to eBay. And again, I took a look at eBay. This is the one I just pulled up. The good thing about eBay is, again, most of the TPAs know what they're doing. They know what to look for. And I don't see a lot of bad mantles on eBay. And again, I just put mantle in and they all look good. I mean, a lot of them are faded, granted. Uh, ooh, bought at auction at Sothersby's. I don't see the... Again, looking at this one, ooh, I'm not a fan. Looks like the... doesn't look like a half moon. It looks like it comes down. Although it does got the V and the E does drop down. So guess what? I think it is good. I think this is a good mantle, even though it doesn't have a, a TPA that I'm real comfortable with. Uh, looking down, looking down. Again, these are just all the common mantles towards the end of life. We're not even going into the later in life. Uh, COA. Oh, I don't like the COA. So let's take a look at this one here. Oh, okay. So here's the problem. No good. And I'll tell you why. This is a classic Operation Bullpen one. Uh, again, we talk with flat mantle. We want to see the E drop down, not the A drop down, which is what you're seeing here. So... Good version to stay away from. You see how the A drops down right there? The E doesn't drop down. Nope, no good. Run. So how much? Do you want $4.99 for a bad fake? Wow. Again, E drops down here. These are a lot of the old classic mantles. Uh, again, something else to look for. And again, you can't do this until you see the autograph in your hand is to see especially with the eight by 10 photos, they're making really high level quality copies of photos. Uh, let's see, a Perez Steel. I know these are real popular. Again, I like, you can see how it comes around. I don't like, yep. You see how the M floats around here. And again, the E is dropping down at the end. All good signs. I see a nice sharp V right there. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any more baseballs we can look for on eBay. Let's take a look here. And I don't see it's mostly flats, although there are plenty of good mantle baseballs out there. Don't be afraid to jump and buy one. Let's go to baseballs. Yeah, nothing's dropping out, unfortunately. I don't know why. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what to look for. Okay, let's take a look here. Again, these are a lot of money. Fanatics, authentic. Uh, ignoring that for a second here. Uh, if you look at the mantle here, and it's tough to tell on this angle, but it does look like A, it's not a sharp point with the M where it comes, and B is, so right there, the M, if you could see that, it's not a sharp, it's a nice round. Uh, the A looks like it's dropped down, it's below the plane of everything else, and finally, I like that V. So again, this is a very expensive mantle, very tough to come by, the price obviously reflects that. So I hope I was able to help you. Let me know any comments you have. I'm happy to look at a mantle if you need to. And as always, keep collecting.